here are some of the keys to the X-cut cross-cut sled. You need a four foot continuous length of Craig top track. And these accessories are optional, but they do come with the kit. Flip stop, of course, is super handy. That seems to be most everybody's favorite. And a production stop is another option if you tend to be cutting at the same point over and over again. But, you know, the flip stop, you can bypass it when needed, flip it back in place, and it just seems like it's a really handy accessory. I also like to get some Rockler rubber overmolded star knobs. And with just T-track bolts or even a quarter inch bolt, you can just mount those, secure it in place. I love the fact that it acts like a handle and it's very proprioceptive. I feel it and if my hand contacts it, I know to stay out of the danger zone and keep my hands in a good position to make the cross cut. And so that's a really nice accessory to have. Some of the other features, the angles on the side, uh, reduce weight. The cutouts function as both hand holds and weight reduction. Uh, you're able to knock this big chunk of the sled off to reduce a bunch of weight. That's really helpful because you don't really need this middle section because of the cross bridge. Now this is just made from half inch black iron pipe that you can get at any hardware store. Easily thread it together and it attaches with matching flanges, okay? Don't worry about getting the three quarter inch stuff. It'll just make your sled heavier. Stick with the half inch black iron pipe. Clean it off with some mineral spirits. Let it dry and then give it a good painting with a hammered paint. We used a hammered charcoal paint and that way it's not gonna mark up your hands in regular use in the shop. So um, another detail of this sled is that you should use metal runners. Uh, aluminum runners are fine but don't go with uh, wooden runners necessarily on this sled. Uh, the runners are right out to the edge of the sled and they do need to have a fair amount of strength. So these runners are from Rockler. Um, Craig also makes some uh, similar runners. Either will work just fine. Uh, but this main kit is from Craig and you can get a lot of the accessories with it or you can buy uh, just the track itself and then supplement with what comes in the kit. So. Uh, these are some of the basic features of the crosscut sled and uh, let's just give it a test here on the Laguna F2 Fusion table saw. for the X-Cut sled. Let's get you those dimensions so you can build one for your own shop. Okay, so overall sled size is 48 wide. My finished depth wound up being 28 and a quarter. And you'll need to leave enough plywood for a two and a quarter inch high by 48 inch long fence board. Make sure to get the top track that's a continuous length, 48 inch and that's because this sled really relies on it for structural rigidity. Um, these hand holes are uh, four and three quarters by a little over an inch wide and I've spaced them an inch and a quarter from the side of the sled. Um, these cutouts here remove about three inches and this cutout spans about 16 inches. Uh, this cutout here spans about 39 inches and it removes about five inches of material. As far as the cross bridge, this again is half inch black pipe that we've painted. It's got three inch uh, nipple extensions with flanges that bolt down to the sled, 90 degree elbows. Have your hardware store cut five inches of length off of a four foot black iron pipe and rethread one end. Makes the perfect cross bridge for your X cut sled. Smooth sliding action of this large sled on the Laguna Fusion F2 table saw. Adjustable handle for easy control in any position. 
flip stop, super convenient for day-to-day -day cuts. Get that swing arm out of the way when needed. And a production stop. The X-Cut Sled. Make one for your Fusion F2 table saw. Thank you.